Oh man, good mor- Oh, good morning. Can I tell y'all my son- I'm gonna go get down. The other day, my son- I'm gonna go get down. The redheaded gremlin, the little gremlin right here with the red hair. He was in the car, he's going, mommy, 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 mommy. And we've been working on interrupting. And I was like, I finally told him, I was like, you need to stop. Mommy, 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 mommy. Mariah, answer me. Uh, I was like, I'm so, who, what, uh, like. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, he here, cause Sam, like I understand it's very important to teach your kids your names. They need to know your names. So Sam has taught him my name. He knows Sam's name, but like he calls me <laughs> by my name now. And there are sometimes I'll, I'll, like my dad will be doing something. Like the other day I said, Michael, what are you even talking about? Like I'll talk to my dad and be like, Michael, what is going on? So. Anyway, I, Mariah, answer me. Um, but I am so happy. So the yesterday especially was really chaotic. I was really, really nervous. We had a lot going on. We have um, our builder, my dad, he entered our home into a competition. Um, and so we had like this professional photographer who came over and I swear to God, three and a half hours this man was here taking photos. And it was like, he was just slow. And I was like, get out of my house. But I have like baskets of stuff shoved everywhere because it, it is not, these photos will not ever be public. It's literally for an award for builders. So they'll be like private photos, but they still needed it to look a certain way. So it almost was like how you stage a home and like can't have like personal photos or super cluttery stuff on the counters when you're trying to list your home for sale. Like that was, it was kind of this situation and he was that kind of photographer. So it was absolute chaos. He was here for three and a half hours. And while all of this was going on, I actually went to a different vet. Hey man, your hands are washed. I saw you wash them. Get down. Dry off your hands. Get down. Loud children. Anyway. So I went to a different vet yesterday. And I'm so happy that I did. So if, I don't know if I had updated you guys here or if it was while I wasn't, I'm not entirely sure, but I went to the vet and at least the way it's always kind of been with vets here in South Carolina, I'm sure it's like this all over. You get who you get when you get there. So like if a vet has four different doctors at it, you get the first available one. It's not like my dog has a primary care vet, right? So the reason we started going to this one particular vet where we're at now, I is the, the woman, I love her so much. I actually am very, very good friends with her sister-in-law, which is why I started going there. Like she was the only vet for a very long time. Now it's extremely successful. They have tons of other vets, but I don't get to pick who I see. So the last time I went, I saw a lady I'd never seen before. And honestly, she just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I took three animals to the vet and let's just sit down because I've been walking around chasing kids and I'll update you guys. Um, oh. These kids are driving me crazy. She just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So I took three animals to the vet and it was like she had an issue with every single one of them. So first up was Doug um, and she was like, oh, he has lupus and I appreciate a mild approach to something first, but she really just kind of glazed over it. The lupus only affects his nose. It's not like how you hear like Selena Gomez, for instance, how she had to get like a kidney transplant. It's not that kind. It just makes his nose really crusty and hard and it's very, 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 very painful. So she was like, let's do um, prednisone and antibiotics. And then once that's done, go ahead and give him niacinamide and vitamin E, which is the mildest approach for this. And she, I, I told her, I was like, he loves to be outside. And she said, no vet is gonna tell you to keep a dog inside. You need to let a dog be a dog. And I was like, okay, cool. But with that being said, she kind of just moved on. And she was like, he needs to get his nails cut more. You're not getting his nails cut enough. I have to put the dog to sleep every single time because they are not, they're like a fear-free vet, which I really love. Uh, they don't want to stress the animals out too much, but putting a dog to sleep every single time he needs his nails cut is one that there's no way you can convince me that's good for their health over a long term. But two, it, genuinely is taking him longer and longer every time to wake up and I just didn't like it. So he wasn't getting his nails cut, but it was like a whole thing. Um, Salem, she was like, he has a heart murmur. 
glazed right over it. He has a heart murmur. You need to go to a cardiologist and then just moved on. And I was like in tears. I was like, what do you mean my cat has a heart murmur? She was like, yeah, I mean, I don't really know much about, like, I can't give you more information. You need to go see a cardiologist, but I think it's like a grade one. I was like, okay. And she was riding me when she got to Allie about Allie being overweight, like was so aggressive, kind of rude to me. And I was like, listen, I understand she's overweight, but like, I'm telling you, I've tried for many, many years. This cat's like nine or 10 years old. Like for probably eight years of her life, every few months, I'll try to give her cat wet cat food and it just, she doesn't take it. Like I've tried everything. I tried when she was a kitten. So she was like glazing over the fact that Doug had lupus and kind of glazing over the fact that like my cat had a heart murmur. And she, she mentioned it and like kind of came up with a semi treatment plan, but she rode me so hard about Allie's weight. And I was like, I've explained it to you. You've brought it up. Stop it. Like there was, it was like enough, enough of this. Like, leave me alone about the weight that I can't change right now. Can we focus on other things? So I think it just, had it been the vet, the reason like I started going there, I would have stayed and I know she never would have addressed it that way. And I would have been really confident and comfortable with the approach she took. But this other lady just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So I went to a different vet yesterday. So anxious. I was a ball of anxiety. I was really nervous, um, but I wanted a second opinion about both the lupus and the heart murmur. And I can't explain it, but something in me had like did not believe her from the beginning. And maybe it was just like how mild she was. But I did not believe that Salem had a heart murmur. He doesn't. And that's what the lady yesterday, she was like, his heart sounds great. He sounds great. He looks great. He's healthy. He's good. Like, no. And I, from the moment that woman told me he had a heart murmur, I didn't believe her. So, and this girl that I went to yesterday, I actually grew up with this girl. I know and trust this girl. She's so nice. She loves animals so much, which a lot of vets do. But I just trust, like immediately my gut trusted her more than the other lady. And she took a much better approach to Doug's lupus. I think that starting out mild was great for the beginning, but for a dog who goes out as much as Doug does, which again, going back to like, she agreed, she was like, no, no vet is gonna tell you to keep a dog, especially a big dog inside all day. If your dog wants to go outside, let your dog go outside. Um, so he does need a little bit more of an aggressive approach to treating the lupus and keeping him comfortable. And they got his nails cut in 10 minutes without having to put him to sleep and knock him out, which is so important to me because the la again, like the first time we put Doug to sleep, he went to sleep very easily. They cut his nails. When they gave him the shot of whatever, it woke him back up. He stood back up instantly and was like, I'm good. I'm good to go. Let's go get in the car. The past couple times, it's, like I've been there for like an hour plus and he's still not awake. And the very first time they put him down for sleep, he like, once we got in the car, he was like, I'm good to go. This last time it was like two days he was acting weird. So I just didn't, it was making me very nervous that like the more I put him down, the more, I don't know. I was just, I was very anxious about it. So with that being said, I love, 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 love the old vet. Like that one particular reason why we started going there. But since you just don't know who you're going to get, I had to go somewhere else. And I'm super happy that we treated Doug's lupus. Salem doesn't have a heart murmur, which makes me so happy. And um, Doug got his nails cut. They had to suspend him from the ceiling in one of those hammocks, but they did it. And it just means so much to me that like, we're not one have, gonna have to pay like two, 300 bucks every few months to get his nails cut, but he can get his nails cut more frequently if he's not going to sleep. And that's a very uncomfortable thing to have long nails. And that was like, we just didn't know what to do because you either have the dog with longer nails and you try and cut them yourself, you try to do whatever you can, or you put them to sleep and it's like, I just didn't like either of those. And when I walked into this vet 10 minutes, they had his nails cut. I was like, this is amazing. So yesterday ended up, I, I was a ball of anxiety and it ended up being so great. And it's just like, if you have been here specifically, you can go back and find the video. I'm standing in my kitchen, short hair. It was the first video that I, the first vlog I did after announcing that I was pregnant with Ezra and I was sobbing because I had just lost Sasha because of just, our old, old vet, like when we went two years ago, um, didn't treat her properly. And I think it really, really traumatized me. And so that's why I wanted the second opinion is because I'm just like so anxious to trust anybody with my animals because animals can't communicate with you the way that like, a human can and just say, I don't feel good. I feel like this, like you can only go based off of an animal's blood work and how they're acting. And so I just like, it was, Literally, I felt this like 3,000 pound weight just lift off of me. With that being said, 
there are 7 million baskets full of crap that I was just shoving stuff into yesterday while this guy was taking photos. So we've got to get all of that taken care of today when the boys go down for their nap. It's 10, 12 right now. Hopefully Roman will make it till 11 and Ezra will go down 11 too. We'll have free time. We can get ready. We'll have to see how this day goes. Oh, and I took Sam's car this morning. Let me go let Doug in to get tent on it. So we're going to make it to, I'm going to, y'all are going to look at it. We're going to get the first view here. These doors have zero tent on them, which I'm actually very happy we did because I, the option was get them fully like see-through or hold on. The option was like have the glass like this, just like regular glass or have them like 0%, you could not see through either side. That was what the door manufacturer, that was like the only option they had. And I'm so happy we went with regular glass because I don't want these doors to be, like I wanna be able to see through these doors. So that's one of those things I've said before, you need to live in a space before you make some decisions. That door is one. So we're gonna, let's see, I think we have four options. So this is the place that does is doing Sam's car tent today or his truck tent or whatever. They also do home tent. These are their options. I think she was telling me the one-way mirror. So they have a one-way mirror, this silver, and then she said the warm grays are actually um, some of her favorites, but they don't give off that mirrored effect. And she said what she recommends doing is take this and I think it shows you, yeah, so this is the interior side tape it up to the window and then go outside, go inside. So this is what we're gonna do during nap time is really kind of find what we want and what, we, what we're gonna get for that front door. I'm so overwhelmed by the baskets and all the stuff that's in there. I literally don't even wanna start it. Mm. So let's go do this, shall we? Answer a, no, Roman woke up freaking after an hour and a half. We're still struggling so much with his nap time and what time to put him down because he if you put him down at nine he'll sleep for three and a half hours problem is that that's that's a whole day's nap and he's like a little gremlin after that and it's like dude okay interior side i do need i need to go get some tape I am usually someone who can come up with a decision pretty quickly. So this is DRN25 SR. Okay, so they are all labeled and I want to pick, honestly, I would prefer to pick it based on what it looks inside over the outside. But we're gonna also call Sam. So this is the inside. I think that's the one she told me she recommends too. That looks blue though. That I remember her talking about that one. And then this is one way mirror. Let's see. So those two definitely give the most true to color. She was talking about that. Like you can still see the green while our, these are more blue. Don't, I do not like this. So let's go ahead and you can see the little handprints all over the thing. Hi, oh, okay. You got a banana on your face? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're not, so what we're gonna do, no, we're not gonna grab the camera, you little gremlin. What we're gonna do, nope. Tape you. Stop it, stop it. All right, so we, we know that's a no. I, okay. I don't like the lighter one. I feel like if we're gonna, if we're gonna get it done, might as well do it right, you know? The two, I like that one way mirror though. I feel like that's, like that. oh. So we've got this one that is very true to color, warm gray. And then we've got this one that's like a one-way mirror, but that was really dark. I don't know why I try to take you guys outside. It's like, it never works. It's like always a foggy camera situation. So we decided on one. We're getting the Lamar Reflective Series RN07G SRCDF, one-way mirrored. So when you're outside, like you can almost kind of see like 
me holding the camera there underneath. There you go, you can see the camera. So it's mirrored and then from the inside, it actually, she's right, it does kind of look blue, but we have so much natural light in this house that I'm not really concerned with it. So put a little sticky note on it. Um, and this is what we're gonna go with because again, right now we have 0% tent. So I'm gonna put these groceries up now. One of my girlfriends makes the best pasta salad and it's not like, she doesn't add feta, she doesn't add, I think even like purple onions or red onions, whatever you wanna call them to it. And that's why I think I like it so much is because there's not this like strong flavor to it. Um, so I asked her for the uh, recipe and the other day she said it to me and I was like, this is, she's my kind of girl because it wasn't like half a cup of this, a quarter cup of this. It was like, these are the ingredients, cut everything up, put it together until you get the consistency that you like. And that's my kind of recipe. So we're gonna make that later. Very simple, I think it's like five or six things. So I'm gonna put these up, eat some um, leftover pizza for lunch, and then maybe I can convince myself to start cleaning up the mess in there. Let me just, did I show it to you? And like, these four bins are the worst from the photos and they have stuff from all different rooms. And like, these are unopened packages for a haul I have coming up, like Doug treats. It's, it's not even that bad. I just, I don't want to. Okay, I forgot about the noodles. So I don't know how this is going to go, but this is all we have in here. Literally noodles, tomatoes. What is that? Cucumber. I wanted to say zucchini. These mini pepperonis. I always like doing stuff like this, like when you have, like it's all separated out and pretty, and then you like mix it together. And then we'll put a little bit of Italian. I did zesty Italian. I don't know if this is what she uses exactly, but. That's what I was looking at. First I was like, I'm sure she doesn't want to like it. No. Okay. We're gonna just start with We'll start with that much. This is a lot of pasta salad. This is not a big bowl for this either. Like I thought this was a big bowl, but now that I've added it all together, I'm like, mm. okay. I need bigger bowls. Cause like, this is the second thing I've done in the past week. That's like just been a complete disaster because like, look at this bowl, you guys. This bowl, this bowl's huge. Is it one of the plastic ones? Yeah. I know, but I'm the one who's gonna make the mess. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hold on. This is either gonna be a totally total disaster. Well, that's one way. You're also supposed to use tricolored pasta for this. So like when I tell you all this is just a hot mess, I mean it. Tricolored rotini, I think is what you're technically supposed to use, but I was 100% certain we had tricolored rotini. No, we have this kind. I don't wanna let it soak. All the juices get in there. And we'll see. Again, it doesn't look like hers because it doesn't have the, the rotini, but <sighs> here we go. It's a little, This is such a mess. Got the um, door scheduled for August 29th for sure at 1 p.m. But there were two other dates she gave me um, that he might call. One of them being this Friday, one of them being next Thursday. He has like a job that's up here, similar. It's close by, whatever. And he might call if he feels like he can get it done in that same day. Um, my gut's telling me this is getting done on August 29th, so that's when we're gonna get it done. But I think close out the vlog here. Thank y'all so much for watching. I got this sassy ass human being over here. We're gonna go spend some time together. So, see you in the next vlog.